Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So, there's a little bit of news. Um, so, I recorded an episode, or at least I thought I recorded an episode. Um, but I guess I must have double hit the recording, and then I didn't record anything. And then when I went to stop the recording, I realized I was starting to record, so I lost the whole episode uh, due to my negligence. Uh, but, you know, that being said... Uh, I can quickly go over what we managed to accomplish last episode. We took two missions. Um, we took an ex escort mission, Three Skull against Clan Wolf, and we had taken um, a um, basically uh, clean up the old mercenaries mission. Um, we managed to pick up, if we go to the mech bay here real quick, picked up a few met par mech parts, which is which are kind of cool. We picked up four um, Raptor uh, 2x2 parts off of the first mission and then the second mission we picked up a few other mech parts but we also picked up one nova nova cat part so that's the start on the getting heavy mechs um this guy got a chance to fire once with uh, i think it was like four of his uh, heavy lasers um or er heavy la well yeah er um large lasers and um only hit once but then we uh, basically took one leg off and then took the other leg off and we claimed the mech so that was good we knocked the pilot out um, in the first mission, Stormcrow Prime, unfortunately, took a arm hit, and we lost the two pulse lasers that were in the arm. Um, it was from a Venerable Bishop Steiner, so it blew the arm completely off. Uh, so I would just put the uh, medium ER pulse and two medium ER lasers in. That, that's pretty much all we had left to do. So I dropped those in, and uh, someone had mentioned um, using the e-cooling system, which I did, and I was able to remove uh, three heat sinks. Um, but what we ended up having to do was drop another heat sink in. We added a heat bank to this guy as well. So now the uh, cooling here is 99.91, which is great because we can operate on, on uh, hot worlds and still be um, nice and cool, uh, which is good because the DNI cockpit, I believe, yeah, pilot takes damage on overheat. So we have to be very careful about not overheating at all. Um, so that's one of the things we have to be very careful about this mech. So since we're running really, really um, heat efficient, plus we've got the little buffer here from the uh, heat bank, uh, we should be uh, a lot better off. The e-cooling system, basically if it's plus three, it's got, it weighs three tons, so it's the same as three heat sinks. It just saves space in the, in the mech, so that's all we've done is saved a little bit of space. So that's good, that, that's the Storm Crow. And it was hitting fairly well in the second mission with the, uh, with the three lasers, so that's good. Um, and then the Grinner, we added a couple things. We just adjusted it slightly. Um, now, the one thing I do want to add in the Grinner is we picked up in the second mission, we had five salvage. So I grabbed two Clan XL engines, which is good because we can sell those off. I grabbed, um, was it the, not the surveillance cockpit? It was uh, probably down here. Yeah, recon sensors. So I'm going to drop it in this guy. Um, so that's good. This is a pretty good um, little bit of a recon suite here. Hopefully we can spot mechs a little little better with this guy. So we'll confirm this. So one day. Not a big deal. Um, so yeah, so that was one of the things we picked up. Um, I, gra I managed to grab one pulse laser, uh, the sensor suite, two XL, uh, clan XL engines, and something else, and I can't remember what it was. Um, relatively inconsequential, I guess, if I can't remember what it was. Uh, and then the first mission we grabbed, I can't even remember what we grabbed off that one. It wasn't really a lot there. So uh, let's go to the store real quick. Now we've got um, our second level of power conduits um, in place now. So let's go to selling. So the Argo's got a second power, lo second level of power conduits um, uh completed so I started on the structure because um, we need to do that to get a few other the bigger um, um, repairs done so that's that's done there so now we've got tons of funds here these clan XL engines are nice to grab and just sell because it's like months and months of, of, of uh, stuff so we're almost at a point where we can start a second Lance going here so um, we just need to find another good pilot um, so I'm going to keep my eyes open as we go along. Hannibal actually is a pretty good start. Actually, that's a pretty good price here. Karita Henin. Minor start. Increase. XP. Command. 
moderate increase in experience cap. Maybe we take her. Hannibal sounds like a really cool name for a um, commander for a second lance. Um, yes, commander. Yes, commander. I hear ya. Plus, she's fairly advanced. So yeah, let's let's hire her. So now we'll have a complete second lance, and she can get a bit of experience while we're uh, getting prepared to get that underway. So let's have a look. Um, I'll worry about the barracks later. Uh, we were able to grab a few other... Actually, let's look at them now. We were able to grab a few skills for our mech warriors. So, um, Griff now has Gunnery 7. Um, we've got a little bit of experience to start raising some of this stuff up. But I'm just going to hold off for now. Um, we could go for heat generation, but it's not that big of a deal right away. Um, El Duce, uh, let's raise up his called shot bonus. Uh, we definitely want to get called shot up because we want to start uh, leg shooting uh, mechs. Uh, blockade... Um, overheat threshold, stability damage, I don't know, we'll hold off, I think we're going to go for gunnery on him, he's our long range firepower guy, so I think we'll hold off, uh, and Mockingbird, yeah, we're holding off for her too, um, we'll hold off for gunnery, because she's, um, she's in the grinner right now, so I think we'll hold off. Uh, let's have a look at Hannibal. Let's get her a, a uniform here. So let's go to customize. And let's get this. Did we use? We used this one. So there we go. Waiting for order. All right. Pilot ready to go. Actually, I should make her hair green too. So we did with the other ones. So let's go real quick. Darker green. Where are you? Where are you? Actually, that's not bad. We'll leave it. We'll just leave it. Leave it. Leave it with that. Yes, Commander. All right. So uh, let's see what we can do here, mission-wise. Now, so contracts. There's not much going on left here on this planet for high enough level. So we may have to ship out of here shortly. There's another planet we can jump to. Uh, it actually, it looks like there's a bunch more that showed up here. That's kind of nice. Three Skulls, Raiding Party, uh, Battle in the Martian Environment, Forward Observers, um, Diamond Shark, Battle in the Badlands. So maybe we do that. So we're actually starting to gain some pretty good uh, reputation with um, Clans Hell Horses. Uh, so that's not bad. Um, let's have a look here. Intercept the Scout Land. So it's probably two lances in total. I think we can take them on million. So let's let's just go after this one, and go with this. And oh wait, we're waiting for the grinner, right? Yeah, I forgot. Should really do that right away when I'm doing it. Add much? Job's done. All right, let's do this now. Come on. Uh, board observers, negotiate. Here we go. All right, fingers crossed. Let's do this, sucker. Uh, let's do this. All right, so we take the hill. Fire suppress anybody that comes up this side. So let's hope at three skulls we don't get anything crazy. We got the 70-ton Nova Cat in the last mission. And everything else was relatively simple. A couple of low tonnage mediums. The uh, second heaviest mech, I think, was the uh, Hunchback 2C, which wasn't that bad off at all. Actually, it was weird because it came in at the end. It moved forward, and then when we took out the two vehicles and the white that were there, it just turned around and tried to run away, and we shot it in the back and killed it. So we didn't even get a chance to shoot at anything. On the move. Full speed. All right, let's get right up here. So we got two Jenner 2Cs. Uh, we've got an Adder and I can't remember what our, what our other mech is. We got another mech as well. Yeah, we got vehicles over here. At least two of them. 
Maybe more. At least two. Okay, I want this hill. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Of course you are. When is there not enemy reinforcements, really? Okay, we got Phoenix Hawk, Shadow Hawk, a Cougar, and a Cougar. So these guys should, uh, if I don't jinx it, go down relatively fast. Epona, Tank Destroyer. Receiving you. That's a full sprint. Oh, because we got guys in the way. So let's just reserve him. Want to get a maximum move forward if we can. Huntsman, okay. Enemy detected. And something. Waiting for order. Quick stepping it. Okay. Getting good evasion now on these guys. Six chevrons is excellent. The other thing I think I did on the Grinner was I swapped, I th if I remember correctly, I think I swapped out the um, defensive gyro for an XL gyro just to gain an extra ton to be able to drop some uh, heat sinking in this guy. Oh yeah, the first mission we picked up a heat that heat bank that's in um, the Stormcrow. Uh, we also picked up a clan. Um, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Let me move this guy first. I copy. We picked up a uh, clan heat um, exchanger. I think I dropped that in the Grinner. Not 100% sure. We got to start working on blockade, getting a little more uh, heat, heat um, dissipation on him. Ready for orders. But we're pretty solid. You'll see here in the desert, we're pretty good, with the exception of this guy. So, yeah, let's see if we can get some good shots on this guy. Okay, two hits. It's open for more. How aggressive do we want to be here? And the answer is super, super aggressive. So you can see there, I think one of the one of the two mediums hit. So we're got we're hitting with pretty good consistency with the XL mediums. Man, I'm showing minor damage. Yeah, the Lerms with Artemis ammo though, they can be scary. And the only reason why, and they, like, and a hit like that, not that scary. Right, obviously not a lot of damage. Where it becomes really scary is um, when they're constantly shooting at you from long distance, no and you don't have the control to stop them. So they get like you know, eight turns of just constantly bombarding you with damage. Firing. That's when it can be a big problem. I should take his leg. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this cougar is not going to be doing anything this battle. We're going to try for the other, well, we'll see. I haven't decided yet. I was going to say we're going to try for the other leg, but it's still up in the air. Ah, really? Systems holding. LB 10X, eh? Commander? Um, Firing all 
Ah, that's enough. That's a kill. Sure is. God, it's sad to be going on turn 20 and still have lots of guys that go in before you. Well, that's fighting the clans, though. Okay, a bear cub? Not so worried about him. This is the Shadowhawk, right? Yeah. Orders. Yeah, let's hold off. That's the one thing that, um, the escort mission that uh, on that last uh, episode that I didn't wasn't able to record the the second so the second uh, mission I did was the escort mission that one we almost ran out of ammo in only because there was a a tougher first uh, group of guys just no point in firing all the time. Let's just move back here, get off their sensors, and try and kill this guy. So once again, ER mediums hitting with 83% chance. The pulse lasers are, you know, a little bit better, but still pretty good chance to hit. I want to go in the emerald, this uh, gem field, because we're going to lose chance to hit there, and we don't need the defense at this point. Critical he has effective. elected the way of pain. Okay, Phoenix Hawk, Shadow Hawk doubling back. Uh, let's see if we can get you cooled off. Let's use blockade. Can we get... Only place we can get a line of sight on that guy, eh? Oh no, from over here. Okay. That's not bad. So let's clean this guy up. Gonna go for CT hit and fire everything. Wow, Omnimech crit, Omnimech destroyed, and he's still there. Okay, should just be able to do it with that. And firing. Oh, I remember what, what else we picked up the la that last uh, mission. Um, was a weapon mount, plus three weapon mount. That was the other thing. I haven't added it yet, but I plan on doing that. Most likely it's going to go into the Stormcrow, but we'll see. Um, adding it with the uh, arm with the uh, ER um, medium lasers. Okay, so it's either going to be the Shadow Hawk or the Phoenix Hawk next, based on their moves. Hmm. So the pawn is over here. Tank Destroyer moved in. Uh, how fast do we think we are? All right, Phoenix Hawk it is. Huntsman. Well, I think it's gonna be this guy. So uh, let's hammer him. Wow, we're getting some good initiative on Griff here. Come on, what are you doing? Okay, Phoenix Hawk is moving and not shooting. Waiting for orders. 
he changed his sides on us. Which isn't right. that bad. Not not very good, but not that bad. So we're gonna switch to ATM ammo and we're gonna hammer this guy. Or sorry, HE ammo. Or switch the ATM ammo to HE ammo. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired. Had a big day out today. Well, out and in all day. I was kind of disappointed with that first, I missed recording that first episode. It was so good too, I was just enjoying it and then it was just like, what, no! All right, let's hammer this guy. Still haven't penetrated the armor yet. Looks like we have now though. Sure did. Mm hmm. You're next, buddy. You are next. Roger. Luce. So I think the micro pulse should come off this guy, and we should get it. Find a half a ton. Maybe we, I think we've got. Um, actually, I know we do. We've got um, uh, patchwork materials, which we'll drop in, and then uh, micro pulse and patchwork materials will um, be able to add. Uh, I think we have an exchanger in them already, but I think we do have a leftover um, heatsink cooling pod. I think we'll drop that in there. Get a little bit better heat heat uh, venting on them. Okay, Shadowhawk's next. I think we'll try and max the uh, salvage off this guy. Don't think we have any Shadowhawk parts, but... Gotta start watching my heat here. And we're going to just go for the leg and fire. Wow, two leg hits. Impressive. Ready for orders. Can we get... That's pretty damn good chances to hit. I'm only going to be able to use one though. Oh. We can use two. Let's go after that leg. One hit. We miss with three at 90 something percent. Good to go. Oh, uh, something's fishy there, man. Something's fishy there. Nicely done. I can always count on Mockingbird to do something good. She's hardcore, man. Hardcore. You know the score. El Duce. Oh, we got a turn. Yeah. Yeah, see? I can hear people. Don't stand in the rough. Don't do it. You're right, I shouldn't be doing it. Oh, wait, we don't need to do that, because, durr. Uh, firing at the leg. Maybe we can get it taken off here. Just don't have the firepower for that. Reporting critical hit. <sighs> We're standing right next to him and have no idea, really. Okay, so primary lance is almost gone. These two vehicles should drop relatively quickly. Uh, the Huntsman, 50 tons. Bear Cub will go down fast, I think. The Huntsman, not sure yet. Don't think it's got full armor, so no, it doesn't. So it should go down relatively quickly, too. Shadowhawk definitely needs to go. K-1 
Okay, what's he doing now? If it was me, I'd jump down here. Nope. You got testiculars, buddy. I'll give you that. Okay, his LBX is gone, so not much you can really do. Alright, Griff, let's get yourself. Need to put that boy in the trees. And let's target the other leg. Because I want this mech. Um, I don't want to take or run a risk of getting any heat damage here on the pilot. Let's leave the worst chance... Well, let's leave one of these guys off. It's the worst chance to hit. So, we'll just fire the rest. Ooh, five hits on that leg, looks like. And he's unsteady. Oh, it's almost gone. We got a target right here, and we'll leave two off and fire the rest. Hopefully, we get that leg. There it is. Ah, we had to make sure we got him, though. Roger that. Got to cool off. Let's get behind the rock. My vehicles. Oh, I didn't move them. Only because uh, I wanted to see if they were going to move in. I didn't realize this guy had an Ultra Twenty. I know it's a tank destroyer, but damn, man, that was a torso hit too. HEM will fire it all. Still going too. That hit something good. It's because of the friggin' spread damage. Wow, really? How many times has that happened to us guys? Yep. Going full throttle. Let's remove this guy from service. I think we're only going to need one on him. Sure did. Stay down. Be nice to be able to pick up that Ultra 20. Yeah, the AI is just not smart enough to utilize the train coming up hills and stuff. Maybe it's just me, but that's what it seems like. Hmm. See what they do. Oh, he is coming up. Okay. Yep. Taking advantage of that Nova. Waiting for orders. Copy that, Commander. Okay, here it comes. This should be good. She did not miss one of those. At least it did not look that way. Affirmative. 
Okay, he wants to shoot at you, buddy. You just shoot right back. Just gonna walk it back here. And, um, yeah, far at all. That should do it. No? Well, he's going down anyway. One of four health? Yep. Vehicle gets to go now. He should drop next turn. Okay. Wow, good shooting. Definitely spreading it around, that's for sure. Okay, wow. Let's hope we get the head. Nope. Well, we needed to cool off too, right? So, don't feel so bad about that. Yeah, let's hammer this guy in the back. Wow, once again, all hit. She's crazy, man. Mockingbird, man? I hope she doesn't die, because damn. Okay, let's switch these to normal rounds. And just fire. Okay, that's a good start. Let's see what he does. He is coming up to fight. He's got some stones. He's got some stones. This shouldn't last any longer than one turn, though. Might not even make half a turn. Hmm. There we go. Direct line of sight. It's always good to have that. And firing. There it is, folks. All right, guys. Payment increased by twenty percent. Not bad. Um, I don't know if we'll take that much in in uh, repairs, but we didn't lose any components, which is always a bonus, especially when sometimes it's hard to get them to replace them. Cougar man, three mech kills. So what do we got here? Uh, a lot of mech parts that we don't really have. We got some Shadowhawk parts. Um, all right, so let's have a look here. Uh, medium pulses we don't really need. We do have one. Don't really need any more than that right now. Starting to get stretched here, what we should really be taking. There really isn't much we need. Although we should be looking for the second um, lance. So I don't know what we want to take that. Um, what else do we have down here? Recon sensor. Uh, probably a good idea. Slick Suite is probably a good idea. Um, I'm thinking for the second lance now. We want to be able to detect enemy mechs earlier rather than later, so probably good ideas. Um, we do have enough cores, I think. I don't think we need any more cores. Um, Advanced TC. You know, I'm thinking about making like a... Um, 
a missile mech that's just going to stand back. So I'm going to take a, a lighter core. We, we do have 165 already, so we don't need that. Um, the Ultra 20, though. Oh. It's a juicy weapon, that's for sure. Recoil of 1, jam multiplier of 5. So there's a 5% chance to jam per shot, I believe. So if it fires twice, it's like 510. And then 1520 the next turn. But if we can get shoulder mount with like minus 1 recoil, that would make a big deal. We're not, well, you know what? If we're not going to use it, let's not take it. Let's grab another medium pulse. We'll definitely use that. Or an LRM-20. We do have two of these already, so we don't need another one. Medium pulse, definitely, I think we'll take. Definitely going to have to outfit the other lance with, like, pulses and stuff. So let's go this route. Okay, so one, two, three bear cub parts, a cougar part, phoenix hawk, and a shadow heart part. Okay, LB-10X. Um... Streak 2, double heat sink. Yeah, not that bad. Alright. 52,000, not that bad for repairs. Not that bad. It's the 8 days we really need to focus on. We got tons of C bills right now. Alright, so let's move the Nova up and leave the rest. So let's just get these guys repaired. Grab another quick mission here before the end of the day. All right, uh, contracts. Let's see what we got here. Something that's going to be relatively quick. Show of force, escort. It's a little fast. It takes a little longer. Does his own stunts. Helps horses arrange for a halibut server. Um, hide the evidence. Pirate black site. Destroy base in a Martian environment. We want pirate gear? I don't know. Vanguard, defend base, raiding party is a battle. Planetary government inbound. Um, let's go with this one. Three skull. Battle in the Martian terrain. Let's give it a shot. All right, let's deploy and get the sucker done. Okay, here we go. Good to go, Commander. Yeah, aren't we always. Um I've not played on this map in quite a long time. Just trying to decide how I want to do this. I think we're going to do it the way I usually do it. And that's going this way. Full throttle. Okay. Standing by. Let's get up over here. Yeah. I'm on my way. Double time. So I'm just, in the back of my head, I'm kind of thinking about the next, yes, our second lance, getting that up and running. Maybe the next episode, that's what we do, is we bring, start bringing the mechs forward and uh, start getting them outfitted. So I think we need two close-in scrappers, one long-range pinpoint mech and one long-range um, um, indirect fire mech. I'll have to see how it goes. Man, we can't teach these guys a lesson if there ain't nobody around to teach. Let's try and keep people under ECM bubbles here. Good to go. Got it. Ok, 
Okay, we should be in range this next turn. Um, let's reserve blockade. Roger that. Standing by. Okay, there's one. Hatchet man. Well, let's not let this guy uh, get close. He's got full armor. What do you need? our chance the hit's going to be here. Pretty darn low. Let's take it. Actually, not bad. Not bad at all. Waiting for orders. All weapons are go. We're not going to get much better chances than this for the next little bit, so let's try and inflict as much as we can on them. Uh, that's pretty good, firing. Wow, four, four hits. Is this in hatchet range? Probably. Stay out of hatchet range. Let's hammer this guy. Uh, I'm going to do an offensive push on him. And we're going to try for this torso and fire. Commander. Now we don't have to do an offensive push anymore. That should push him back enough that he's not going to move. So firing everything. Wow. We're in an XL, I guess. Okay, let's hunt these bastards down now. Fire starter. Another fire starter. That could potentially be bad for us. We let them get close. Yeah, a couple of hits. Firestarter A, okay. Confirm. Two Firestarter A's. Standing by. Holy shit. <laughs> that guy was sneaking up on us. What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh shit. I think we got gauntlet. Don't isn't it gauntlet? Or is it gorilla or gauntlet parts? I think it's gorilla parts we have. Jesus, this guy came out of nowhere. All right, man. Let's uh, push him back, and yeah, let's go. Let's go after this leg here. That just there. I was wondering where the other guy was. That was a surprise. Okay, we almost got the leg. Get over here. Getting the swirly dues, which is the official clan name for them. If you guys didn't know. Going after this leg and just gonna use the pulses. And fire. Oh, there it is. That guy could have been really dangerous. Well, he can still be dangerous if we don't kill him. Location confirmed. But I think we're probably going to do a good job on this guy here. So let's go after the leg. And we're going to switch these to HE. Now that I'm remembering to do, to do that more often. And fire away. Really? Let's 
try and finish this guy up. Not enough. He's fleeing the interview. We go to work. Okay, no XL, damn. Reporting critical hit. Thought he had an XL. I go to work. Finish him up then. Oh, still going. He's about to take a ton of missiles though, so he ain't going anywhere. He's running away. Let's go this road instead. Enemy eliminated. Yep. Standing by. Confirm. All right, firing. See if that guy runs. Nope. One of the reasons why I didn't want to fire all my lasers. Alright, let's make this guy's day a bad day. You're a mech slayer, girl. You are a mech slayer. Yes, Commander. I think this is a back shot. Not that it matters. Waiting for orders. Wait, 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 wait. There's the blue side. Out. Hooray radiation. Alright, what are you doing, buddy? I still can't believe that gauntlet came out of nowhere. It was just like... <laughs> it's so stealthy. Um... Yeah, one of your medium can stay off. Alright, what are you doing, buddy? Come on, bring it in. Warm hug. Commander? Rolling. See if we can burn through his side here. Firing all. Once again, she hits with everything. Gee, she's just, she's a murderer. Mission successful. So Mockingbird the murderer showing her talents again today. 113,000. More than enough for repairs, I think. 
And we didn't take any damage. That gauntlet could have been a real nightmare if we hadn't seen him when we did. He just came out of nowhere. She got all four kills. All four of them. Insane. Okay, heavy PPC. Ultra 10. Case 2. Uh, fire control system advanced. XL gyro, which I think we should probably take because we're out. Oh, we got one of these. Pharaoh, we should have a bunch. We don't have any. That's a possibility. Another mask system. We've got two of them still, so we don't need any more. Let's take the Pharaoh. Um, case 2. I think we have clan case 2, so I don't think we need that. Fire control system. Probably minus one recoil. Probably a good idea. And we'll leave it as that. Let's hope we get some parts out of this. Okay, fire starter, two hat three hatchetman parts. Okay, cool. ER medium, regular medium. Ah, a bunch of junky stuff. Okay. Yeah, we didn't take really any damage out of that. I think it was like one flamer hit or something, or two flamer hits. So the Grinner took one hit. Yeah, one day for repair. So let's have a look real quick before we end the episode here in the mech bay. I want to see what mechs we do have. I know we have an, ad an adder, uh, two Jenners, and what was the other mech we had? Kit Fox. Right. 30 tons. 335s and a 30. That should be okay, I think. So, Jenner's got one missile point. This Jenner has got eight missile points. So that'll probably be our missile mech. The Adder and the Kit Fox will most likely be our close-in mechs. And this Jenner will most likely be long-range. Fire support? Um, maybe? It's got a lot of laser points. It does have one ballistic point. We could put something on for long range. Unless we make the uh, either the Kit Fox. Maybe the maybe we can make the Kit Fox the long range. It's got lots of ballistic points. Maybe we put a couple of LBX fives in there. This Jenner can be our long range platform. This one will just be like massive laser boat, and this guy will probably be a laser boat as well. I think that's what we'll do. Um, so next episode, when we come back, we will start bringing those uh, mechs forward so we can start running two lances. We've got way more than enough sea bills to start getting this stuff going. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, and we'll keep um, our Argo, Argo repair going um, and get that up to speed. Maybe get the third mech bay up and running. Um, since we have so many sea bills, we should probably be able to get that up and running soon, I think. The beta pod we've got, but we'll figure that out. Um, once we get the next four mechs up and running, we'll figure out what we're going to do structure-wise. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. If we get some clan XLs, it'll be easy enough to do that. All right, so we're going to end the episode there. If you like to drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you later.